Holy shit. Abdicate, you just made me one very happy camper. You love DDLC? I can see that. That's very apparent. Oh my god, thank you. I need to get you so many thumbs up. Who the hell is Mika making no sense? I thought that was you, but I guess not. They recently followed, but like, look at all the TK Mayo, Chew Bubble, Alicos, Gabo, Dildo, Squimwick. Coffins? Coffins hasn't even that been here ever since that one Resident I Evil stream that he was here for. <laughs> Welcome in. Let me give you a head. Oh. You're listening to. New wait, 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 Gumbo. Uh, garnished, redeemed, that you have to time yourself out. So before you make take your leave, you know, do the deed, please. If you don't mind. An advocate, uh, I'll give you a head, a player head in Minecraft, if that's all the same to you. But welcome in, everybody. Doki Doki Literature Club Plus, it's back. Abdicate Garnished, it's nice to have you back again. Gumbo as well. Mika Keko, welcome. Sorry that your identity got stolen by another Mika. I thought it was you. Did Gumbo just leave without timing himself out? Does it really have to be Gumbo or like, uh, can I do it? <laughs> Great advocate, thanks. Thank you. I needed that. So right now, there's a bowl of soup that I have here. You know what type of soup? You'll never be able to guess what type of soup. Any refunds? No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wait, wait, wait. Why? Wait. What did I do? What did I do wrong? I'll, I'll finish. It's nearly done, I swear. The soup's nearly done. I just don't want to have, like, you know, sitting here and I don't finish it. Besides, like, I, I think I should wait a little bit in case of anyone who wants to join, because I saw that there were some people who said they were interested in the event for stream that haven't showed up yet. I remember the days I would just like start within like three minutes. Sayori? We didn't even start yet. <laughs> Thank you, welcome to the kinship, Sayori. How are you doing? <laughs> Hello, Konzilla. Welcome. I feel like I should turn the lights off for more immersion. Because right now, I'm sitting in a very well-lit room. Oh, shit. My lemongrass. I'm now a little spooky surprise. You... Uh, spooky surprise, but also a welcome surprise. Froggy... Oh, yeah, oh, okay. I thought you were saying that you were going to miss the street, but hello, welcome in, Froggy. I don't remember if you were here when I first played Doki Doki. But, uh, that was probably the stream that did the best. Like, that was the first time I had a good stream. And that was, like, what set off from there throughout the entirety of, like, 2020, 2021. We're, in fact, here. Well, hello. Okay, we're gonna start soon. Because, on okay, honestly, maybe I should start. I'm gonna turn my lights off. Wait, one second. See, my soup's done. Okay, wait. Give me a moment. There's a lot of lights in here, so... Okay. I turned off two of them. One, one more. I can do that from my desk. Uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, yeah. Not only are we having the Doki Doki return tonight, we will also... Be having the uh, we all, oh no, we already had we had the announcement of Dichotomy, the single being released on Spotify. Please pre save it, it'll make me happy. I'll you know, you can redeem a favor with me in the future if you do it. You know, follow me on Spotify. Let me launch Doki Doki. 
What are your guys' thoughts on bread? Like, just like, do you do you like bread? What's your favorite type of bread? Just had this on my mind. You know? You want cookies? But what about bread? Isn't bread kind of like a cookie? Think about it. What type of cookie you want, though? I want to see what your tasting cookies are. What the hell is this? New desktop reveal. This isn't... If I didn't already say it, um... Doki Doki Plus is what we're doing. I haven't... I don't know if they added anything new, but uh... Did they? Do you guys know if they added anything new? If there's like DLC or HD? They did? Okay, one second. Let me finish chewing. I don't want you to hear this. Get everything in place. Okay. <gasps> lights are off. Everyone gets. Everyone else, turn your lights off too. Get snug, snuggled in a blanket. I don't care about pictures. Okay. They did add new stuff. Okay, so six side stories, write poems for different characters, view their special scenes in DDLC, okay. Wonder if it's gonna if that's gonna play anything into it. Lights are off, pants are down. That's what I like to hear, Abdicate. I guess. Side stories, lore mail, secret text on the files that can be read. Oh. What we got here. Look at this, the most vanilla desktop I've ever seen with absolutely nothing on it. Default, uh, background. You know, it's actually kind of fitting because the first time I played Doki Doki was like moments after I got my computer. So I only had like Streamlabs, Google, Discord, Doki Doki, and Minecraft. That was like all I had. Oh boy. It's back! Damn bro, that's crazy. Yeah, it's just, it's just like, uh... The old days. I don't know if this is just placebo effect, but they do look a little bit, um... More, like, higher resolution. We're gonna- oh, we're gonna- We're doing voices again! You already know we're doing voices again. Okay. Hi, my name's Kale. Nice to meet you. Oh yeah, uh, I know it says Kaleidoscope, but you can say Kale for it if you want. Anyway. Are we, are we just gonna like start with like the normal voices? Like, you know, yeah. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna be, uh, this is gonna be Bimbo now. Bim Bimbo saying hey. What would Bimbo sound like? That's what we gotta figure out. Bimbo is gonna be probably like a. Let's describe the voice here. Let's let's get into our character development phase. Let's, let's think about that. Generally thought of getting a thumbstick and putting. That's censored, Abdicate. What does that say? And taking her to work. Bimbo would sound like Mr. Blobby, but also like Mort. So we'd have to go. <clears throat> King Julian. I like feet! And then, oh, Blobby! So this is like a. I'm just the King Union! Mr. Blobby! Does everyone agree with that? This Khan's the only one who contributed to the character right there. It says Monica Dart character. Oh. Advocate. <laughs> 
No. Unironically, this is my favorite part. Yeah, <laughs> who's Bimbo again? The person saying hey right here. Uh, okay, you know what? Julian! Me blobby! I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Bimbo, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's gonna chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sign idle in front of the crosswalk and let Bimbo catch up to me. <laughs> I almost slipped again, but I caught you this time. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Eh, you'd say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's me, Kale. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. I'm fine. But you didn't wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean if you, if you want to. Whatever you say, bimbo. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Cal, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm not really interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Eh, that's not true. You told me we were going to drop a clue this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of her many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. One second, this is like kind of loud, you know? This is kind of extremely loud. This is really loud. Can we... do we agree on that? Also, Gumbo, you were supposed to time yourself out like a while ago. It was redeemed. Okay. Uh, Bimbo, Bimbo likes to worry a little up, a little too much about me, when I'm perfectly content just getting on, by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Yeah. Huh? I was talking about how I'm worried about when you don't... Wait, what? Sorry, I... I get a little tongue-tied sometimes. That's, I don't know how... I'm illiterate as well. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any social skills before college. Your, ha your happiness is really important to me, you know? And I know you're happy now, but I'm dying at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. When I'm done with- the Okay, Gumbo, but you have to time yourself out. Just like, you know, whenever whenever you can, because Garnished uh, redeemed it. Play in the chat until the end of the stream after- Hey, what if we have another 9 hour stream? Gonna be here? Uh, anyways, I'm gonna take a few look at- I'm gonna take a look at a few clubs if it will make you happy, Bimbo. No promises, though. Well, you went least promise. Maybe you'll try a little bit. Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? Can I be saying Bimbo on Twitch? I just like- that thought just occurred to me. It won't let you time yourself out. Okay, we'll just pretend that you did it. Hopefully that's good enough. How do I time you out? How do I... How do I do this? Uh, maybe she can be Jimbo? It's not an offensive turn? Oh, okay. So we're probably good. Let me just see if I can time you out from my stream manager. Oh, did you look at that? I can. Time out 10 minutes. Yeah, that's perfect. You can finish your dinner by then. Oh, I deleted all your messages though. Let's see. More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Bimbo wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but start with the anime club, okay. Hello! Bimbo? 
Bimbo must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I thought you were just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, Jono, even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. This is like the new Gumboodles, but like... I don't know, watered down. That was Doki Doki plus is Doki Doki again, or does it have more endings? I think it has more paths. It has some side stories or something. Uh, the person, you know, the actual Sayori in the chat can probably shed some more light on that. I saw you could gamble in Florida before 21, but it's only lame shit like bingo porker and horse racing. Horse racing? That's not lame. Dude, let me put uh tw $20 on uh, white lightning. Take me down to the derby. Anyways, you don't need to wait up for me if it's gonna make you late to your own club. I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought you know. Know what? Well, that you could come by to my club. Bimbo. Yeah? There is no way I'm going to your club. <laughs> Maybe. Bimbo is vice president of the literature club. How did that happen? I don't know. Not that I was aware she had ever had any interest in literature, that's what I'm saying. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it'd be fun to help start a new club. Classic bimbo. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please! Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kinda told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. And that Suki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Bimbo's really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning as to have planned this all out. Let out a long sigh. Fine. I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Ooh, coconut water? Dude, I already got it right here. You already know. Listen, 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 listen. Oh, it's not coming through. Come on, come on. Dude, I was shaking that shit so hard. The coconut water was going, it was going everywhere. I hope you heard it. Okay, anyways, I'll stop by for a cupcake. Yeah, let's go! And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. A bit dramatic. I dejectedly follow Sayori Bimbo, I mean. I dejectedly follow Bimbo across the school and upstairs. A section of the school I rarely visit. Bimbo, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone! The new member's here! I told you. Don't call me a new member. Uh, I glance around the room. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Bimbo always says nice things about you. What did you think the atmosphere? Ah, oh, Gail, what a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. So, wait, how does she, does she does she know my name? All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. You know, I wonder if Abdicate's personality is just downloaded from like the main character in uh, visual novels. That's just a thought I had, like, randomly. Abdicate, if you can hear me, can you confirm? Anyway. What are you looking at? If you can say something, say it. So, sorry. Natsuki. The girl with the sour attitude whose name is apparently Natsuki is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes her look like a first year student. Ah uh, yeah, she's for the pedos out there. She's also the one who made cupcakes according to Sayori, I mean Bimbo. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Why did you- I don't know I just noticed like Sayori and every time I've played Doki Doki ends up with the most humiliating voice. Every time. I remember the first time I, like, she sounded autistic. And then, she always gets like this warbled, garbled voice, because people always name her with like, stuff like that. I mean, nothing's gonna top Yuri getting gumboodles at one time. But, uh... Still, Jesus. You will neither conform nor deny anything for your own safety. Safety? Yeah, it's, something, it's gonna come out eventually. She sounded autistic. Was that a bad thing? God, okay. Dude, listen. Maybe, okay, she sounded... Her voice was just very... 
not good. Kill, okay, what are your thoughts on autistic people? Um. Yeah, go out, go autism. The short one should be Gumbo. Done. Purple hair should be Billy Harrington. Got it. And Abdicate, yes, you did gift ten subs. That is, that's a lot. I'm gonna buy the Elden Ring DLC statue. Thanks to you. Thank you. Thank you, Abdicate. Thank you. And as a show, of my thanks. I will do the Monica voice. I've been a little uh, out of practice, though. So we'll, we'll we'll see. We'll see. This is my this is me getting back into voice impressions. Bimbo says that quietly into my ear and then turns back to the other girls. Yeah, Bimbo's doing that. Anyway, this is Natsu Mina. This is Gumbo. Always full of energy. And this is uh, Billy Harrington, the smartest in the club. Don't say things like that. Billy Harrington, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Bimbo and Gumbo. Well, it's nice meeting both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica. Is that right? That's right. It's good to see you again, Kale. Monica smiled sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Yeah, Con, I need you to act like that. I remember it was from a Pokemon, or either Pokemon or some other visual novel or timeless play in DDLC. I did that voice, and Abdicate was like, gooning, for lack of better words, because I don't want to use any of the other ones. And it was Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... <laughs> you too, Monica! See, like, I'm telling you, it's literally Abdicate. The main character is Abdicate. Oh, Bonner, what have you done? Have the game talk to him with that? Oh, Jesus. Dude, he's gonna be in the server voice chat streaming that. <laughs> in the- oh, no. Wait, uh, like, wouldn't that, like, be- you'd be taking my voice, technically? Like, I'd have to get, like, uh, reimbursed for that, right? Or hey, maybe- maybe we can make some profit off of this, you know, like, sell the voice, charge $50, and then lonely people will give me money! Hail the main character can't be me, I'm too afraid to talk to women. Hmm. Yeah, apparently you just stare at them when they're talking to you. Apparently. Which I still don't really get what that story that you told was about. Oh yeah, someone was talking to me and I was looking at them. And then I... Then I... What was it? Then she... No, you, you were staring at her when she was talking to you. Because you thought she was staring back at you? But wouldn't... Anyway, moving on. Okay, can I retell it live? Retell it right now. Come sit down, uh, Kale. We made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me. Oh, Monica. Oh boy, who am I gonna sit down next to? I'm in the cupcakes! Oh uh, man, I'm out of practice with my gumbo voice too. Okay, wait. Gale! Gale! Hey, what the heck, man? What the heck, man? I'm gumbo. Mm-mm. Yeah, I don't know. Man. You like Frank Zappa? Why do you sound like Bug? Bug, Bug, Bug. Abdicate? I'm gumbo. I have a headset mic. Hey, I made this. Hey, what the heck? I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. I have to get, I'm in. I'm in the middle of talking to all, all, all the Mordhos right now. Don't you see? Oh, wait, who is this? Oh yeah. Now, how about I make some tea as well, tough guy? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As uh, Bimbo mentioned, it's been widened so there's one space next to Monica and one space next to Bimbo. Gumbo and Billy Harrington walk over to the corner of the room where Gumbo grabs a wrapped tray and Billy Harrington opens a closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Bimbo. And Gumbo proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta da! <laughs> Gumbo lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white, fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. Whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! I, 
had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> I, I mean, Gumbo. <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Bimbo grabs one first. Then Monica, I follow. <laughs> Delicious! Yo, Bimbo talks with her mouthful, and he's al has already managed to get icing on her face. Wow. Bimbo, you s get a nap, can you? I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Does anyone do this? What, like, I, like, I'm just like overanalyzing it at this point. Gumbo's quiet. Can't help but notice him sleek sneaking glances in my direction. Is he waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. Who cares about the icing? What about the actual cake? The icing is probably like one of the worst parts. Icing, fondant, usually. I mean, it can be done well, but like, why, who focuses on the icing as well? This guy's a weirdo. I know I'm playing as him, but he's a weirdo. This is really good. I, I only- I just licked the icing off the top of the cake and that's it. Thanks, Gumbo. Why, why are you thanking me? It's not like I- Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Made them for you anything? I thought you technically did. Uh, Bimbo said- Well, maybe! But I've heard- You, you, you know, the- Man, what an age idiot, this guy. So old. Alright, Gumbo. I give up on Gumbo's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Seems pretty accurate. Billy Harrington returns to the table carrying a tea set. Yes, please. She caref he carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teacher just gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book, tough guy? Uh, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Billy is just trying to impress you. Eh, that's not... Insulted, Billy looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Billy Harrington faintly smiles to himself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow and then smiles at me. So, what made you consider the literature club? Uh, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Bimbo. Well, I hadn't joined any clubs yet, and Bimbo seemed really happy here. Then again, she's happy anywhere, anywhere, and this is like, that's okay. Don't be embarrassed. I'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? <laughs> well, you know... To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It's like nothing but arguing around the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. Can someone please rename her? And if it encourages others to find in literature, I'm fulfilling that dream. Money is a really great leader. Billy also nods in agreement, but I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new one. You could put it that way. How many people are interested in putting out all the effort to start out something new? Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes all school events, like the festival, that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best! You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal? What a ragtag band of misfits. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were also delighted with a new member at the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So, Kale, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, um, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Gumbo's head suddenly perks up. Looks like he wants to say something, but he keeps quiet. N not much of, much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Billy Harrington's sad smile. And what about you, Billy? Well, let's see. Billy traces the rim of his teacup with his finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. Telling a good story in such a foreign world, I don't know what that said. 
he goes on clearly passionate about his reading. He seemed so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way his eyes lit up that he finds comfort in the world of books, not people. You know, I like a lot of things, like wrestling. Stories with a deep psychological element usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Yep, it certainly is. I read a horror book once, but I desperately grasp for something I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, Billy might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Billy. For someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that, but if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, I, I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ah, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Gumbo's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right. You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Gumbo? <laughs> why? Why give you that idea? He left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! And get that back! Fine, fine. <laughs> you cupcakes! You poems! Everything you do is just as cute as you are! Bimbo sidles up next behind Gumbo and puts his hand on her her hands on his shoulders. Give me five good reasons I don't go bet on horses. I'm honestly not against that. So You're asking the wrong guy. Honestly, I think betting on horses is something you should do at least once, right? And I want you to come back and let me know how it went. <laughs> yeah, you're being encouraged. I'm not cute. Gumbo, you have your own poems? Uh, yeah, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? Gale! I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? Uh, uh, no. Gumbo averts his eyes. You wouldn't like them. Uh, not a very confident writer yet? I understand how Gumbo feels. Sharing the level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Billy? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set example and help Gumbo feel comfortable enough to share his. I... Oh, I guess it's the same for Gum... Uh, Billy. Uh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. Uh, Gumbo and Billy look quizzically at uh, Monica. I'll go home and write a poem of her own. Then next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone's even. Uh, um... Yeah! Let's do it! Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it'll help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Kale? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. Huh? What's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forward with what's been on my mind the whole time. I never said I would join this club! Bimbo might have convinced me to stop by, but I've never made any decision. I still have the other clubs to look at in them. I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. Oh, what? I'm sorry, I thought... <laughs> you, you all... I, I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girl's eyes light up. Yeah, I'm so happy! Bimbo wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. H hey, you really did scare me for a moment. If you really came for the cupcake, I'd be super pissed. And that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Aw, uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think that with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Gail, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yep. Can I impress- 
Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Billy and Gumbo clean up the food. Hey Kira, since we're already here, want to walk home together? That's right. Bimbo and I never walk home together anymore because she's always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! Freshman year, you almost joined a literature club? Let me guess. Inspired by the game? With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Bimbo. Gumbo. Billy. And of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in literature club? Wait, that's every day? Oh my god, that's a committed club. Yeah, duh. Is the one thing that, like, stopped you is because, like, you were gonna go there and they'd be like, why did you, uh, what, what, what made you join their club? And you're like, oh, so, like, I just, uh, yeah, you ever hear it? Uh, Doki Doki? <laughs> oh, I have to get, I mean, like, you couldn't, you couldn't just make something else up. <laughs> Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Like, surely you've read, like, at least one book. you just be like, oh, I'm a fan of this book, or, I like, I want to get into it. You know, literally this, I want to get into it. Well, who knows, maybe you would have ended up finding a new passion. Alright, I just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. Icon. I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. You're just in time. We're gonna write. We're gonna have to decide who we want to impress. Pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen when with whoever likes your poem most. Do we want to write for Bimbo? Gumbo? Or Billy? You know, it's like whoever says whatever and, you know, waterfall. Oh, okay. Oh, Gumbo liked it because he likes cute things. I mean, like, who, who should we try to go for though? Look, here, look, I, I can, I bet I can guess which one each is for. I bet that Clumsy's gonna be for Bimbo, Nature's gonna be for Nature, Raindrops, Rare, Peaceful, and Universe, that's all gonna be for Billy. Universe, you just pick what you want, honestly, respectable. You know, you know what I'm feeling? You know what I'm feeling? I'm feeling, uh, Memories. Yeah. And, uh, let's see. Let's see, we got Chain, Question, Plage, your Anime, Agonizing, Lucky, Blanket. You like that one too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're on the same page here. Uh, it's hard. Maybe just question? Let's see, we got forgive, flying, cage, cry, lust, flower, fun, milk? Yo, milk? Sorry, I had to do it. Existence, parfait, vertigo, lipstick, dream, heaven sent, vivacious. Love it. Together, smile. Uh, existence. Yeah, look at us. Look at us, Khan. And now we, we'll follow that with a massacre. And then we'll music. And then fuck that. No, we're not doing philosophy. We'll do a... Uh, we'll do... Heart. Climax! Sorry. Got excited. Uh, then we'll do... Dude, it's so like obvious which one goes to where. This is a... Uh, gumbo. Gumbo. Uh, bimbo. Probably... It's either gumbo or bimbo. Uh, this one could be either Gumbo or Bimbo. Is this really obvious which one's hers? Billy. They only talk about chicken nuggets. I know! We need to do something about the issue of chicken nuggets and philosophy. The philosophical chicken nuggets. This issue can go on no longer. Anyways, I'm gonna close- I'm gonna pick one of my eyes closed. Okay, that- eh. It's bound to land on one- okay. Eventually, right? Okay, fireworks. We'll do that. Ooh, crimson. I like that word. Uh, 
Melancholy is also good. Melon Crimson. Uh, spinning. And then... Ooh. Suicide? Who's gonna like suicide? Oh wait, what? Really? I thought it'd be Bimbo. For no particular reason. Lee. Nightgown. Stars. I'm pretty sure that'd be her. That'd be Billy. Which one hangs himself? Bimbo. Yeah. Uh... Analysis. After image. Oh, I just picked two things at the same time. My bad. What happens when you do Doki Doki? Determined to commit suicide. That's respectful. It's respectable. I don't know who I... It's either gonna be... It's actually hard. I feel like it's either Gumbo or Billy. It's likely not Bimbo. I can kill. Why does he get it run away on us, huh? Uh, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least he I keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Kale. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making sh you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Ah, oh, come on, Leggy deserves any slack. Bimbo told me he didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too. Gale! I don't even know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Gumbo, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps his manga collection in the classroom. Me, 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 me. Gumbo finds himself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature! Swiftly defeated, Gumbo plops back into his seat. Big mouth? Yes, big mouth. Not like the one on Netflix, I have to get. That character acts like Gumbo unironically. <laughs> Very fitting, I guess. Gumbo is a uh, lolly confirmed. Don't worry, guys. He always gives it his base as long as he's having fun. He helps me with bench work without even asking. Like cooking, clean my room. How dependable. Bimbo. That's because your room is so messy, it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. Is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? Might be a little jealous. How come? You can care if you be good friends too. How do we know that she's not talking about, like, you though? You know, not, why is it all about me? Hmm? Bimbo? Uh, um. B Bimbo? <laughs> As usual, Bimbo seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Oh, 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 oh! Uh, Billy even brought you something today, you know? We already have a lolly man? You're right, yeah, it's true. I think lolly man's here too. Hi, lolly man, if you're listening. W wait, uh, Bimbo. Me? Um, uh, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? Real, no, no, never mind. Bimbo made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what do I do? Uh, I'm sorry. But Billy, I just wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue this situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. Yeah, is that so? Yeah, I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. Alright. Well, here. Billy reaches into his bag and pulls out a weight. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out some weights I thought you might enjoy lifting. Get that pump, bro. And we could, you know, work out if you want, like, together. This is... How is this guy accidentally being so cute? He even picked out some weights that I, he thinks that I could start out with, despite me not exercising much. Billy Harrington, thank you. I'll definitely... Use this. I enthusiastically take the weights. Phew. Well, you can read it at- I mean, you can work out at your own pace. Look forward to seeing your progress, bro. Now that everyone settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. That didn't seem to be the case. Bimbo and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. 
And uh, Billy's face is already buried in sweat. I can't help but notice his intense expression. Like he's about to collapse under the weight of a thousand suns. Meanwhile, Gumbo's rummaging around in the closet. Typical Gumbo. No, I just remembered that the first time I played this game, Gumbo was also that character. It's all the same as was before. The only difference is that Monica has not been turned into an ape or some other random character. Or like, her she was Kermit the Frog for like so long, I just remembered. And uh, what was the other one? And Yuri was Gumboodles and not Billy. You want to schedule some activities with Monica? Alright, man. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> No, don't, don't do that. It'll kill you. It's bad. But at the same time, I would feel bad for distracting him from working out. I got a glimpse of the cover of his back. It looks like the same weights that he let. Oh, whatever. I saw the cover. I saw this, the weights, and he's using the same weights to work out. Ah, crap. I think he noticed me looking at him. Stop sign sticking and crazy. No, Dingle. Was that? Yeah, it was Dingles. Or Bubbles. Or Bobbles. Whatever I should call you. Welcome in. We're doing DDLC Plus. Uh, just so you're not confused. People can name it, name the characters, different things, and then choose what their voice is gonna be. And then I'll try to do that voice. So right now we got Bimbo Gumbo and Billy Harrington. And then Monica is just supposed to be like a prostitute. So that, that just so you know what's wrong with the, the names. And yeah. Anyways, I hope... That, you know, you don't... What, advocate? Tell me whatever your heart desires. I'm gonna call you- I'm gonna call you- I'm just gonna call you a random thing every single time and hope that you know I'm talking to you. Well, like, what? Okay, she's not a prostitute. She's, um, a dominatrix. What do you want me to say? Like, what? Well, she has a very warm, sultry... voice. But she's just Monica. Oh, uh, we're looking at Jess and Monica. Um, no one's renamed her. Anyways, he sneaks another glance at me, and our eyes meet for a split second. But that only makes him hide his face deeper behind the machine. Sorry, I was just spacing out. I muttered this, sensing I made him uncomfortable. Oh, it's fine. I was really focused on my workout. If I was really focused on my workout, I wouldn't even have noticed. But I'm just... I'm just a... Uh, warming up a bit, so... That's the, uh, same weights you gave me, too, right? A wooga? Hi, Gumbo. How's your dinner? She sounds like a prostitute. Gumbo and Abdi like the madame. <laughs> that haunts the old man. Dude, you should have seen it when I first did it a while ago, and, like, there were, like, five people. Or, like, six people, and they kept on redeeming it over and over again. Landing on Mediterranean literature, so this is what your life will be like. <laughs> Which one would you be, Gumbo? Everyone seems to agree, because you already named you after the, uh... The pink-haired one, Natsuki, the tiny guy, so, or girl, I mean, yeah. I wanted to, uh, redo some of it, not for any particular reason. I'm just curious, uh, how come you have, uh, two copies of the same, or how come you have the same type of workout machine? Ah, well, when I stopped at the gym yesterday, I mean, that's not what I meant, I mean, you just happened to buy two of them. Uh, I see. There's something fairly obvious here that Billy isn't telling me, but I decide to let it go. I'll definitely start using it soon. I forgot about my Monica drawing from you. Abdi, that is such a shit drawing. I, I've felt bad about that ever since I've done it. I just, like, did not have time to do it. I just fucked it up so bad. Like, then you said it was fine. And then, and then you, and I remember telling this to you, and you were all like, I refused to answer, which gave me all I needed to know. And it was moving on. Remember that one drawing of Monica with her neck broken? And yes, I remember that. Because I saw the Monica model in the game. And I just couldn't- I just like instantly was like, Oh yeah, I remember. I remember decapitating that. That was cool. Anyway. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. Yeah, it's usually what happens when you start working out. It's a very engaging and relatable activity. That's so. It's a bit, what's it about anyway? Well... Mm, Billy, uh, scans his eyes over the back. This is gonna be really hard to find a way to make- take the dialogue without losing the essence of what they're saying and replace it with things relevant to the character 
Like, how the hell do I make reading like working out? Like, this weight is... This one's 45 pounds. There's an ominous looking eye symbol on it for some reason. Alright. I just want to make sure I don't accidentally give anything away. I don't have to make it like that. What if I want to, though? What if I want to? That drawing got me banned from DDLC Hint. You posted it in a hentai page and it got banned? Surprised. Okay, I'll just read it. This, you know, what was. Anyway. Uh, basically, it's about this girl in high school who lives in with her long lost younger sister. And as soon as she does so, her life gets really strange. She gets targeted by all these people who escape from a human experiment prison. And while her life's in danger, she needs to desperately choose who to trust. No matter what he does, he keeps restoring most of her relationships and her life starts to fall apart. That's kind of, kind of dark, isn't it? Billy made it sound like it was going to be a nice story so that dark turn came out of nowhere. This is one of Billy's movies he's talking about. Change Yuri's name to the Hulk. Yeah, let me look up what the Hulk sounds like. This is just like a really gruff voice. Man, you should have done that before uh, that one line where it's like, How is this girl being so cute? <laughs> let me look at it. Hulk voice. By the way, is the music still too loud or like, what do we think? Here, let me play this. What is- I just want to hear him. Puny God. Puny God. All that just for me to hear Puny God, okay. What does he watch? I was watching the Hulk. <laughs> what are they- I'm watching the Hulk clips, you know, that was in the, the Marvel movie. The sound effects were there too. Strongest one there is. Dude, he just sounds like a brute from Halo. Sounds like Atriox. Okay. <laughs> Hulk gently giggles all of a sudden. I'm not a fan of that sort of thing, Kale. No, no, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kind of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Hulk is into those things. He's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but his mind seems to be completely different. It's just that all those kinds of stories, they challenge you to look at life from a strange new perspective. But horrible things happen not just because someone wants to be evil, but because they have their own goals or their own philosophy that they believe in. Then suddenly, when you thought you related to the protagonist, they made out to be one naive thing for letting their one-sided morals interfere with the villain's plans. I'm... I'm rambling our time. Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then. This is what She-Hulk should have been like. But I feel like I should let you know I have this problem. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I talk too much. I didn't watch it either, I just also heard it was bad, so I'm just saying this is what it should have been like, though. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading, you know, Hulk? The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club, after all. That's... Well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? Y you don't have to. Uh, what are you saying? Just a moment ago you said you were looking forward to it. Let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the book that I had put into my bag. Alright, it's fine if I sit here, right? Slip into the seat next to Hulk's. Uh, yeah. Are you sure? You're a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. Dude, this, he's, he's afraid he's about to, like, uh... Go Hulk mode on me. Hype for the new Godzilla and Kong movie. Minus one in December, just speak. Oh yeah, I haven't even watched the first one, man. So I'll have to. It's not that I don't watch, though. Is it something I'm not very used to? That is reading in company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. <laughs> Alright. I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Hulk means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel his very presence over my shoulder as I read. I'm about to start to read a book and Hulk is just like looming go for you behind you. 
It's not a particularly bad thing, maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Speak for yourself. Hulk is in the corner of my eye. I realize he's not actually looking at his own book. I glance over. Looks like he's reading from my book instead. So sorry. I was just... Hulk, you really apologize a lot, don't you? I do. I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean... <laughs> yeah, this should work, right? Yeah, well, so when you timed me out, yeah. It removed my mod. Oh, it did. Look at that. Uh, someone do... Khan, can you slash mod him? I'm gonna sound like a gooner for this. Oh no, what's he got to say? I slide my desk up until it's up against uh, Hulk's, and then hold my book more between the two of them. Aren't Yuri's boobs smaller in Act 1? Act 1? <laughs> I... Okay, wait, wait, why am I focusing on that? You mean the first game? Like, I don't know, I think they're about the same size. They look the same. I, I don't, I don't, I don't know, do you want me to pull up the other, the original game, do it side by side, get the comparison? Do I have permission to do that? Oh my god, I can't do it. Ah, oh, damn it. What I pay you for? There we go. Okay, let's see. What just happened? There we go. No one act one is before. Oh, okay. Wait, so you're saying that they're smaller in act one, and then after that, it get they get bigger throughout the game. It says, it says uh, Monica messing with the game files. No, no, it's okay. Um, I forgive you. Anyways. <laughs> I suppose so. Also, advocate, if you're gonna address the character in game, please use their name. You know, Hulk. Thank you. Wouldn't Monica wanted to make her boobs big? Uh, I don't know. Maybe Monica thinks that the the oh, the heavy they they are, the more pain Yuri will be in, that she will then be more likely to kill herself. Uh, the mind games. I was Monica, I would do that. Okay. I need a lore reason why Yuri got... She got pregnant. Alright. That's what happened, okay? Yuri got pregnant in between Act 1 and Act 2. Yeah, I know. It's just the truth. We gotta tell it, alright? It was behind the scenes. But they added it in the plus version, so be sure to stay for the whole stream if you'd like to see that part. Hulk timidly closes his own copy. Once we lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. Feels like my left arm's in the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. Well, I guess it makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. <laughs> Hulk takes his left arm and holds the left side of the book between his thumb and forefinger. Huh. I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way I turn a page and Hulk slides it under his thumb and after it flips to the side. But hold it. in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Hulk's face, and he's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Huh? To turn the page. Oh, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance at Hulk's face again, and our eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with him. That's okay. You're not used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do. Since you've been so patient with me. Reading books of people is so annoying. That's why I don't do it. Yeah, thanks. It's a nice thing to do together. Like, when you say together, do you mean like read the same book and like meet and discuss? Or do you mean like at the same time try to read the same book? I don't know what's even the point of that, really. Like, if you want to talk about a book, you can talk about a book. At the same time. Yeah, dude, I don't think- I don't even remember the last time I tried to do that. We continue reading. Hulk no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume he finishes it before me, so I turn it by my own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to his side as he catches it under his own thumb. Hey, Hulk. This might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. You, you think so? Does he? 
well, I guess he's a lot more blunt in more more ways, but uh, he also second guesses a lot of the things he says and does. Like he's afraid he'll do something wrong. It's not like I can see in your head or anything, but they kind of are reminiscent of some of your man's stories. Let me see. Hulk remains silent for a moment, but but Gail, it's probably a terrible thing to have in common with her. Oh, it makes me so mad. Wait, wait, I didn't mean it in a bad way or anything. Sorry, I didn't know you were self-conscious about that sort of thing. I guess I meant it. It's kind of cute. Oh, what are you saying all of a sudden? I... Okay, everyone. I think it's about time we share today's poems with each other. We might not have enough time if we do wait too long. Hulk exhales, spared from finishing his thought. Is that all right, Hulk? I'll cut it down. Sorry if you haven't been looking forward to this. But it's not. It's fine. Hulk releases his hand from the book, causing it to close on top of my thumb. Alright. I guess I'll do some more reading tonight. Or would you prefer I only read it with you? <laughs> I guess I don't have much of a preference either way. Hmm. I guess I'll read a little more tonight. It'll be more fun to read up with you after it picks up a bit, you know? It's good reasoning. In that case? In that case. Feel free to finish the first two chapters in your own time. Alright. Y'all remember when I couldn't light the candle because it was too deep? I used a scissor to hold the match. Oh god. Oh, you used a I, saw, I don't get how that happens. Like, I, I, I know what you mean. I, I don't know, I just, I've never had to, had to have that issue before, but like, I, I get what you mean. I think you lit the match in a weird way. Is your Wi-Fi shot itself so you can see Kale's reaction to my brown joke? He's gonna blow, I'm gonna brown, I browned when I was born. Subnautica all over again. I don't get that part. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book and then slip it back into my bag. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night, Kale? Y yeah. My relaxation ends. God damn, not this again. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait! Uh, Bimbo and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Bimbo's is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook, and on the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Remember when you played some Monica and I said I shit my pants and then your game crashed last night? Yeah, dude, every single time, everyone be like, oh yeah, I'm pooping right now, and then it would just crash, without fail. That is the reason that whole stream had to be stopped, because I couldn't get past that one point in the game where the ship would uh, come and pick me up. I basically completed the story, so it's fine though, I guess. Anyways, uh, Bimbo and Billy change Monica's voice to Trump. Oh no. Dude, what is that like? Uh, Let me just like get it like you know I need I just need to listen to it so I can practice a bit. You're gonna have to get this has been some period of time and most importantly Wait, hold on. Uh... the great people of Iowa. Thank you. I love you all. What a turnout, what a crowd. And I really think this is time now for... I don't know if I can even do this voice. Maybe I'll... I'll watch this. Okay, uh... See. I did everything right and they indicted me. <laughs> what? What? Wait. I did everything right and they indicted me. Why is he sound like a... He's throwing a temper tantrum. This single-handedly ruined the stream for me. Donald Trump? Oh, dude, what are you like? Just because of Monica's voice or because it's Trump? Huh? I did everything right and they indicted me! I did everything right and they indicted me. The way he says it, like, indicted me! No, it's because Monica's voice changed, of course. I did my subs, I deserve this. That's, I guess that's true, but like, name generator. 
Like, okay, how about we'll combine? We'll make it Donald Trump, but he speaks in a very seductive manner. Eh? Eh? I did everything right and they indicted me. I'm Donald Trump. I don't know. I like to think, uh, I don't know. What does Donald Trump sound like? Um. I need to, I need to watch more. <laughs> It's probably not good to base everything off of the one where he's like crying. Now you look at what this governor, Newscum from California, isn't that his name? Newscum. Oh, that's what that trending Twitter hashtag is about. Newscum. I'm not rubbing one up. What are you doing right now, Abdicat? What were you doing? Abdi, I see that message. I'm gonna show it to the world now. I am not rubbing one out. The screenshot, just like what Khan says, and then just like instantly followed by Abdicate saying that. <laughs> he was rubbing one out. I knew it. I'm gonna find the timestamp. Version of Nixon's what? Nixon's. I am not a crook. Remember what I said at the beginning of the stream? I don't remember you saying that you were rubbing one out. Newscom, uh, what he's done to California is unbelievable. What People he's done to California is unbelievable. I'm, I'm done. We need to build a... Former President Donald Trump is known for his... Yeah, that's why... Right. Newscom from... Newscom California. from... Former President California. Donald Trump. Calling that his name... And that his name... Has used I'm, name I'm Donald Trump. I'm Donald Trump. I... I... I did everything right, but they indicted me. And now I need to sp speak in a more, uh, oh wait, I need to watch this, um, thing Gumbo sent. I'm Donald Trump. Drinking warm water. Oh my god, shut up. Eh. Uh. Totally corrupt and the worst totally president corrupt. in the history of our country. president in the history of our country. Impaired. He's cognitively in no impaired. To lead. In no He's condition to lead. dealing with Russia. And possible nuclear war. Just think of it. We would be. We would be. Very quickly. Very quickly. <laughs> he says two. So oh dramatic. man, they're laughing at him. He's got the music. It's almost like. Dude, this it's is a like. Summer of 19 this reminds me. Did you, anyone see that like one thing of Joe Biden? And it's playing like this like heavy like USA music and he's like. We got bombed! We are America! Like, wait, let me see if we can find it. I think I found it. Not only do we have the largest economy in the world, we have yeah, yeah, it's the this strongest one. economy in the world. We have the most productive workers in the world. And give it a fair shot. Give it a fair chance. America. Wait, let me see if I can find the one where they like, have the music. Every world economy in the world. Like, this is the speech, but I'm, I'm trying to find the one where they put music in the background. Uh, yeah, this one. Let's listen, listen with the music. Wait, this isn't the right one, is it? This is some dumb shit. It's stupid. The threats or his Okay, you know what? Let's just stop looking at this. <laughs> I'm sick, sick of this. Okay, anyway. Um, yeah, I don't, it doesn't really matter if you can't see my YouTube. Let's just go back to the game and make Donald Trump like it's seductive. Uh, I did everything. I did everything right, but they indicted me. I'm, I'm Donald. I'm Donald Trump. And I, I, they did, I did everything right. Okay, now I need to get all seductive. My name's Donald Trump. Yeah, I do the same myself. Who should I show my poem to first? Donald Trump, Billy Harrington, Gumbo, or Bimbo? Oh, this is like an older Donald. Ah, whatever, it's fun enough. Any, uh, any suggestions from anybody?
on who we should show our amazing writing to first. Yeah? No? Are you a light advocate? Bimbo kind of guy or a gumbo guy? <laughs> I mean, it's uh, pretty easy to pick between those two. Let's see what Abdicate picks. Abdicate. All right, we're going with Donald Trump. I should start with Donald Trump. Yesterday, he seemed eager to read my poem, and I want him to know I'm putting in the effort. Hi, Gail. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good. I did everything right, but they indicted me. I mean... Good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Now he sounds like the Joker. <laughs> what am I doing? Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going to the flow until I'm more settled in. Will I continue to out myself as a loser? I cried to this one. Just... Yeah, that link got suppressed. This is Trump when he admires some politics and he has amnesia. Running a literature club in a skirt. <laughs> Grew out his hair. Got uh, breast implants. Anyway. I did everything right, but they indicted me. Wanna share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Kale. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know. That's that sort of barrier that we all learn. We learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. Oh, there we go. Find your LinkedIn. It's just the... Let's see. What did you cry to? What did Abdicate cry to? You know, poor boy. Poor boy cry to. Your reality. Oh, okay. Oh, that's what it was. Oh, okay. Don't get okay. okay that's I had Donald Trump my poem. Mm -hmm. Great job, Gail. I was going ooh in my head while reading it. It really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I only I didn't expect you to go over something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. Uh, that way, it always counts that I put in some effort. <laughs> That's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that, uh, Billy likes his kind of writing, right? Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. Unlike Bimbo, who likes using simple and direct words to describe happiness and sadness. I, I mean, Hulk. Hulk likes it when readers are left to derive their own meaning out of it. It's very challenging to write like that effectively. Both allowing people to get something out of it just by feel. Or letting them deeply analyze all the nuances. It could take even years of practice, but I assume uh, Hulk has at this point. Never really has, though. I'm sure I'm not even anywhere near his level yet. Don't worry so much about that. You know your own thing. I did everything right, but they just keep exploring and learn by new, trying new things. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It'd be take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. What's a silver gun rip? Is that like the MIDI guy that you like? Yeah, that's like remixes or something. Uh, I, okay. You pinged me. Okay. Uh, let's continue. I'd love to try to see, see you try new things. That's the best way to find that kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little biased towards their own kind of styles. I'll always help you what suits you most. So don't force yourself to write the area everyone else wants you to write. Not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Haha. <laughs> uh huh. Anyway, you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. Sound pretty confident for someone who claims not to be very good, Trump. That's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Do I have to read this? Oh my god, hole in wall is perfect for him. Uh, I did everything right, but they indicted me. I, I'm, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm, uh, uh, why does, what does this guy sound like? 
we what, what we need to do. I'm Donald. I, I'm Donald Trump. I, 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 whatever. We need to build a wall. Hole in wall. It couldn't have been me. See the direction the sparkle protrudes. A noisy neighbor. An angry boyfriend. I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel I blind like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas. Already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. He wasn't watching the news since 2018. Pretty much. Your Trump voice fucking suck. Shut up. Abdicate, I saw that. You do a Trump voice. Where was I? Uh, it was... Oh, yes. Stretching forever into everything. A whole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking in. Talking about the immigrants right there. So, what do you think? It's very freeform, if that's what you'd call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Ha <laughs> ha It's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. Now to get this is Trump. That is a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. Performed out loud, it can be really powerful. So what was the inspiration behind this one? Ah, well I'm not sure how to put it. If I know how to put it. I guess you could say I've had a kind of epiphany lately. It's been influencing my poems a little bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. Kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's coming on kind of strongly. Maybe after everyone's better friends with each other. Anyway. Here's Donald- Here's- I did everything right but they indicted me. Here's Donald Trump's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try- My god, why does he have to talk so much? If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you will never make any progress. Just force yourself to get down something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you fix- If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So move your hand and go with the flow. Hey, okay, Monica's a voice of this. This guy. Let's see. You're gonna fix your servers. Are you gonna fix your servers? I swear, guys, if they don't fix the servers, I'm gonna bre break everything in my studio. <laughs> Are you gonna fix your servers? Wait, no, 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 go back. No, no. Okay. You're gonna fix your servers. Are you gonna fix your servers? Are you gonna fix your servers? He's so aggressive. Are you gonna fix your servers? Uh, am I clipping? Like, when that, when that clips, does it, like, make me, like, quieter and, like, muffled? I don't know how that's... I guess we'll just go from down to up. You heard it? Okay, cool. Finally fixed that. As Hulk reads the poem, I notice his eyes lighten. Exceptional. Uh, what was that? Did I say that out loud? Hulk first covers his mouth and then ends up covering his whole face. Uh -oh, sorry, that just brought back memories. Okay, anyways, um... I... Uh, he's gonna hate me. Um... You really didn't do anything wrong, Elk. Uh, that's... I guess you're right. What am I getting so nervous for? <laughs> Elk takes a breath. So, what kind of writing experience do you have? Your use of imagery and metaphors indicates you've written a lot of poetry before. Really? Well, that's a huge compliment coming from you. This is actually my first time, actually, really. Hulk stares at me blankly and then looks at my poem again. Uh, I know that. I've spent it. Um. Hulk trails off, unable to find an excuse. He traces his finger along the words of the poem as if breaking it down more thoroughly. Yeah. Okay. That's the reason I was able to tell. It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to make a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style 
Hulk is becoming more like Gumpoodles over time. And I'm wearing myself out. And the expressiveness are weak and nothing's gonna ever be like Gumpoodles. I don't even know how I did that. It was like, I, 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 I'm Gumpoodles. I'm, 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 I'm Gumpoodles. It's like, hello? 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 I'm, I'm Noodles. Then, Gale. Gale. I don't know. I'm Gumpoodles. Yeah, there it is. I, 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 I like bugs. <laughs> it's what Gumboodles would sound like if he wasn't autistic. Yeah. His stamina is completely gone and he sounds like an expert. This is like when they made him a smart guy and he had like more glasses. Of course, there's also a thing you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing a simple poem. Imagine this was the end of Kale. His last words are that. Just what the uh I'm Gumboodles. <laughs> I'm Gumboodles. <laughs> Dude, put it on my tombstone. Kale. Lived until 2024. I'm Gumboodles. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes to practice and learning by example and trying new things. Also, that everyone else in the club will give you valuable feedback. Uh, Gumbo can be a little biased, though. Biased? How? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Hulk's apologizing to himself, to me, or to Gumbo. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thoughts with a smile, dude. Hulk smiles dreamily, as if that's a rare opportunity for him. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining streetlight has withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green who... Of the future, I breathe, calm, breathing air of the present but living in the past. The light flickers, I flicker back. I, I'm sorry I have such terrible handwriting. What? It wasn't like that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Oh. Yeah, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is very pretty. Yeah. That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it was short, uh, it was really descriptive. Was it too short? I usually write longer poems. Not at all. Hey, I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since this is our first time sharing, I wanted you to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Hulk? <laughs> I just had to take like a second to drink water because Jesus Christ, that voice. Actually, your arm is cramping. Are you also yoinking your shit like I have to get at what during stream gumbo? Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you only did glance over it after all. You were what, gumbo? What were you doing? You, you stopped though? You got a rash? Ah. Oh. What? And a cramp. You know what? That's uh, armor right there. It hurts. I don't know, man. Do you want some ointment? Like, help you out later, maybe. I remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their own work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. Am I the only one here not drinking it? it might be. I need Monica to kiss it. Oh, no. Is it better? You know that Monica's like some random dude now. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of them, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solid putting it that way. I didn't even thought of that. It's impressive. Yeah. It's not it really. Yours was impressive too, so... Nah, if anything, I could probably learn a thing or two from you. You think so? Yeah, of course. Uh, you know... I was really nervous about doing all this, 
but in the end, I enjoyed it. I'm going to keep doing my best for you, Kale. Oh, me too. When do I plan an ending? I don't know. Whatever it feels right. Whenever my throat hurts too much. Well, it's about what I expected from someone like you. Yeah! That's a bit blunt. Well, excuse me. It's not like I said it was bad. It's just, it didn't invoke any emotions. So basically... Oh, so basically it's not good enough for your taste? Have a good poo gumbo. Do you want to get smacked? I'll pass. Uh. Yale! Well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you like it. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Great kids can leap. Horses can race. Owls can sit. Cheetahs can fly. Eagles can fly. People can try. But that's about it. Well, that's a gumbo poetry right there. That's why he's, he's majoring in literature. That's what his poems are going to look like. All right. Yeah. I told you we weren't going to like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems uh, for people to express themselves? Your writing still wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like when it's easy to read when it hits you hard, like in this poem. See, everyone around you do great things to be really disheartening, so I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other thing about simple writing is that it put more weight on the wordplay. Like, I set up a rhyme at the end, but then it made it fall flat on purpose. That was bring out the feeling on the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. Like my software engineering brain. Glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor him with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Gumbo's feeling proud, I won't take that away from him. Last one is Bimbo. It's a good poem, Kale. Are you sure it's your first time? Of course. It's not that good. Am I the kind of guy who'd be writing poems in his spare time? <laughs> I guess you're right. That's what impressed me. Well, to be honest, I was afraid you were doing do it seriously. Or that you wouldn't write one at all. I'm really happy that you just want one. That reminds me of how you cried in the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. Uh, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Kale. So down your house, you it all, you know? Trying new things like this for other people. There's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Bimbo. Thank I really appreciate that. Then again, I can't deny she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah, I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? This will be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm gonna hold you to that then. Yay! Now you get to read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> Let's see about that. Dear sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you kissed me. Miss me. Kissing my forehead to hit me out of bed. Making me- Oh shit, I didn't get to read it. Sorry. Bimbo, this is just a guess, but did you wait until this morning to write this? No. Jane, just leave me. You can't answer just a little bit with yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean. I still try my best. Oh uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say it was a bad poem. It came out uh, nicer. How do I put it? It just sounds just like you. Really? Yeah, especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. Even though you were late to school. These bears keep pretty fist. You know, I respect that, Bimbo. Yeah, eat your breakfast, guys. Why eat your breakfast? I got all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. No wonder that everyone in this, uh, like, just generation is a cynic. Because they all eat breakfast, they're all too cranky. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this was so much fun! What? Uh, Monica's a beast. Oh, uh, yeah. But next time, I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best film ever. Uh, I guess I look forward to it. Well, this is everyone. Lights around the room. A little more stressful than I anticipated. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't have wasted like a whole 20 minutes of reading a book with Hulk. It's as if everyone's judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. 
Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, uh, Bimbo and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Hulk and Gumbo. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Uh, Gumbo's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Hulk smiled sadly. What's with his language? Uh, um, did you say something, Big Squeak? Uh, uh, there's nothing. Gumbo dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess... I guess you could say it's fancy. Uh, thanks. Yours is... Uh, cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How could that be cute? I, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. Try to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to tell you that hard to come up with something nice to say? Gail, thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple of suggestions. I was looking for suggestions. I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Bimbo liked it, and Kale did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give some suggestions on my own. First of all, Excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a lot of time establishing my writing style. So I don't expect to change anytime soon unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. Whoa, what are you about to say, okay? Gumbo. I kind of liked my poop too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Gumbo suddenly stands up. You can do that? My god, it's a miracle. Oh, I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, uh, Hulk. Eh? It's not what? Uh, you're just... Uh, Hulk stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Kale appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Uh, and how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full yourself? Uh, no, if I was full of myself, I would deliberately go down my way to make it right. everything I do overly cutesy. Uh. Oh my god, my throat, dude. Hi, Tomato. Uh, I'm not doing these voices. Like, I didn't choose this, okay? So, people can name the characters, I'll do the voice, or they can do something to make their voice different. Anyways, this is Bimbo. It's uh, Mort combined with Mr. Blobby, that's the voice. Uh, this is Hulk, and then this is just Gumbo. Anyway. Uh, um, is everyone okay? Uh, Kale, you know what? I wasn't the one whose ma boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Kale started showing up. Nuts, I'm a gumbo. Oh god, what was this guy? What was this person's voice? Fix your servers. Um, gumbo, that's a little. This doesn't involve you. I don't like certain guys. Suddenly, both girls turned towards me as if they just noticed I was standing there. Kale, he's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. He started it. They would kill themselves? No, you and uh, Hulk are fighting right now. Uh, how's your poop? If Gail, if you could get over herself and learn, learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point of making all your poems convoluted for no reason? That meaning, this, the meaning should jump out of the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, Gail. <laughs> There's a reason we have so many demon express words in a language. I'm glad your poop is good. Why is it going bad? Your villagers turned into zombie villagers? Hey, you can get the achievement for curing them then. You know? Play doctor a bit. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily eliminating yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Gail? Um, well, how do I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing, but whoever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. So of course that's going to be Bimbo, help. Uh, Gumbo, Gumbo glares at me, drying any, any words I had in my mouth. So instead I turned to Hulk. How cute this guy. Hey, hey, look, I don't want to take any sides, you know? I want to keep my relationship with Hulk going strong and with you. You know, I gotta call upon Bimbo to help me out here. 
No. Do you want me to choose a bimbo before it's like Bimbo is just make helping me out of this awkward situation, okay? But Hulk's expression is so defenseless that I cannot bring myself to say anything to him. Bimbo! <laughs> yeah. Everyone's fighting... Oh man, that's so low. Everyone's fighting is making Bimbo uncomfortable. How can you do keep fighting and making your feel friend feel like this? Can you? Well, that's her problem. This isn't about her. I agree. It's unfair for others to interject their own feelings into our conflict. Yeah, unless Gum Bimbo wants to tell Hulk what a stuck up jerk he's being. She would never. It's your prematurity that's made her upset in the first place. Oh my god, these two. This is high school? Uh, excuse me. Are you listening to yourself? I need to take a water break. Okay. This is exactly why. Exactly why nobody likes. Stop! Gambo! Hulk! You guys are my friends! I just want everyone to get along and be happy! My friends are wonderful people! And I love them because of their differences. Gumbo's poems, they're amazing because they gave you so many feelings with just a few words. And Hulk's poems are amazing because they paint beautiful pictures in your head. Everyone's so talented. So why are we fighting? The, because... Well... Ethel! Gumbo's cute and there's nothing wrong with that. And... Hulk's boobs are the same as they'll always be big and beautiful. Dude. <laughs> uh, Bimbo. Bimbo stands triumphantly. And Monica stands behind her with a bewildered expression. I'll make some tea. Hulk rushes off. And Gumbo sits down with a blank expression on his face, staring at nothing. So this is why Bimbo's vice president. I whispered to Monica. He nods in return. To be honest, I might come off as a good leader, and I can organize things, but I'm not very good with people. I can't even bring myself to interject. As president, that's kind of embarrassing for me. Ha ha ha! Nah, not like I can blame you. I wasn't able to say anything either. Well, I guess that just means that Bimbo is amazing in his own ways, isn't she? Where's Lemon when you need her? Lemon's been long gone, man. Who could say that? She might be an airhead. Airheads suck. Does anyone here even like airheads? I don't get what people... Airheads... I had an argument and then someone was saying that if they had to pick a candy between Sour Patch and airheads, they pick airheads. Airheads are not good. Sour Patch are better than airheads. You love airheads? You're disgusting. It's like licking flavored plastic. I don't get what the, the big whoop de doo is about that. It's literally nothing good about it. You like its consistency after you chew it out. Even then, I don't really see the uh, kind of like crunchy. Like taffy. I don't really think the taffy's that great. Yeah, exactly. Like taffy. Anyway. <laughs> Who, okay. I see. Take good care of her, okay? Day to see her is get herself hurt. That makes two of us. You can count on me. Monica smiled sweetly at me, causing my stomach to nod. Such a genuine person really does make a good president, regardless of what she says. If only I could get the chance to talk to her a little more. Well, I could just be stretching in the middle of the convo. She's on like Brian said. Dude, I literally do that myself too. I'll just be in the middle of talking to my friend and then I'll just be on the floor uh, locking my pinkies behind my back and pulling my shoulder blades out. And I, and I'll be talking to someone. Next thing you know, my foot's in my armpit. It's crazy. The, the grind never stops. Okay. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. Gail, it's all right. Well, mostly. Uh, Gail, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat talk about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you learned something from your friends too. So your poems will turn out even better. I think to myself. I did learn a little bit more about the kind of poems everyone likes. Any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. Not to myself at newfound determination. Can you? Ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. <coughs> uh, Bimbo beams at me. Truly has been a while since Bimbo and I have spent this much time together. 
Can't say I'm not really enjoying it either. Uh, Bimbo, what happened earlier? Eh? What do you mean? You know, between uh, Hulk and Gumbo. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no. This is the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise you're about to find different people. I have to stop jerking to go stream Murfight. What is Murfight? Uh, he probably came and then the post nut clarity hit. And then he refunded all his subs. You don't, you don't hate them, do you? Oh, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they'd make good friends with you. You! You know, Kale? Now I get to spend time with you at the club. I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you, too. That's... Uh, looks like Bimbo still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, her being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? Oh, dude. Okay. No idea, but he has one viewer, so... Oh, he's streaming on Twitch. Dude, this, this guy just left. Go stream on Twitch. Not watch Doki Doki. And he was like, I need to do my homework, guys. I have the kid and I have orange hair. And I need to do my homework. That's what Attica sounds like in my head. I like Monica. Yes. <laughs> okay. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm sorry. On the stream, he said, yo, I heard this guy jerks off to Twitch streamers and he banned me. <laughs> I like that. That's funny. Um... I pat Bimbo on the shoulder. <laughs> I said that more to myself than to, I don't remember what I said to Bimbo. DC views Bimbo as an internal monologue sometimes, man. That's so mean. Okay. Yeah, let's do this. Let's go write a poem. What if I... Sticky. And then... Let's look at a little, like, story. But, like, Sticky? What is something that's gonna be all sticky? Sticky lipstick? Well then... Milk? Sorry, you just know you have to go. So then, milk? Cheeks. Oh, what did I just do? Okay. Uh... Milk cheeks and feel pain. And then... Then after you get all pain, you pray for the pain to go away. And it brings comfort. But then, a massacre! It leaves you broken! But then there's an ambience. And that ambience is calm. And you spend eternity in this ambience. And, uh. Uh, so you spend eternity in the ambience, which you want to commit suicide because you've been there for so long, but you cannot find a way to flee. You keep trying to, but it's hopeless and you're so alone. You're captive and unstable. Uh, you're like whatever sensation. <laughs> Thanks, Gumbo, my like <laughs> prescriptor. Another day passes and it's time for the club meeting already. Gotten a little more comfortable over here over the past uh, couple days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Okay. Yo, Bimbo. Started out with milk cheeks. <laughs> Good. I'm gonna have to go back and like make that like a milk cheeks and ended it up with this hopeless suicide. A hopeless suicide to escape the prison. Don't forget that part. I need to take a second to just drink water. See, this is why Kale got a divorce. What is this? Probably think more highly of me. 
So of course that's gonna be Bimbo, help! Kidding, but whoever I agree with, they'll probably think. All right, man. <laughs> Look, like I'm sorry. Let's take a breather. Yeah, that person of milk cheeks really did a number on me. <laughs> Uh, what if I like just took a nap on stream? <laughs> Who would do what? Let's just talk for a second, you know? I'm, I've been doing these voices for almost two hours now. They've been some pretty uh demanding voices. I'm a tired boy and you seem like a tired man. You do bring up some pretty fair points. I don't think this is even like a horrible place to end. I just hope that people will be willing to come back next time as well so that we can get through the whole game. Wait, remember when I did a 9 hour stream? Or maybe we'll do that in the future. I need to get a really good uh, viewership and like chat thing and all that. Like, it was, you like the stream? It was huge. So many viewers. That compared to me otherwise, yeah. It'd be able to do sit here for another 9 hours. I don't know how you did it. I don't know why I did it either. I think I was just like so excited with all the many people I was getting and like all the stuff that was happening. Yeah, no life? Oh, well, I mean it was COVID. Well, it doesn't really matter. And it was like, it was a nine hour thing from like pretty late in the day to then early morning. Normal. We ended up in the Minecraft, what sort of call it? Sort of ejaculating concert come for nine hours, yeah. Maybe really entertaining. God, I wish I could like... Get some, get some more streams like that. That was fun. That's what we're, we're playing this again for, right? Oh! Oh! What the hell? I got all wet. I spilled a little bit of water on my shirt. Okay, anyways, you played it in the background as if it was music. Oh, that's so nice of you. <laughs> Picking up Christmas lights. Or putting up Christmas lights. Oh, okay. Dude. My, genuinely my biggest fan. Gumbo Bob. Play out your phone and type in chat. It was wacky. It was a good wacky. I think. I hope. Literally am still waiting for one day in the future where you can put both hands on my shoulders and look straight down and go, Oh my god! Oh my god! You know right now, this kind of reminds- Although I actually have viewers right now. Reminds me of when, uh, I was streaming Detroit Become Human, like, every day. And you were just the, uh, only person there. I do remember that. I don't know why that was the name you chose as well. Yeah, should I just save you rather than continue? Yeah, uh, sure. There. Uh. Wait, wait, watch this. This is like... Desk... Where'd my lawyer go? Actually, what? Oh. We have a side story. Part one of something and a grayed out part two. I don't know why, but the name, idea of your name being Mohammed makes me laugh. I don't know if that's racist now. <laughs> Is there a sex story you can do? Probably. Probably the one that shows us how Yuri got pregnant. Pictures. Metaverse Enterprise Solutions. Man, Mark Zuckerberg is behind Monica. Notice how they're all, like, they got white socks and then she got black? Hmm. Now you know she's the leader. You think these guys can sue Facebook? Bro, well, no, I think they are they're part of Facebook. And there's a bimbo. And there's the combo to you. And there's our good pal Hulk. Yep, and that's uh Monica. Poems. Is this like a caption? Residential area around the protagonist and Scrooge's house. I wonder if the when we like get dead people. Those will be like photos of their corpses in here. Concept sketch of the complete cast. Oh, behind the scenes. And 
Dude, to say you used to look like a tomboy or like a femboy. Oh, I can set my wallpaper as one of these. Man, I'm so gonna make it so like someone like dead. Okay. You think Abby jerked off any of these? Yeah, probably. He probably played through the whole game, got every single one, and got the secret like nude version. That your wallpaper just her leaning forward. He's a nice person. Is there even one of her leaning forward? I think the only one of like anyone leaning forward is the this one. Yeah, this is like a Inquisition procedure. <laughs> yeah, nice way to put it. Yeah, that's the only ones that are there. She's black socks because she's a mommy dom. Okay. Yeah. Oh, look at that. I can be on the desktop and play my own background music. Acquisition procedures what I do with your mom. Bobo, you scandalous dog. Take that. Dude, it's like... It's like my own... It's like a Doki Doki Spotify. Okay. Let's see. We were talking about Woodstock in my pop music class. Did you talk about like the people who died in like trailers or not under a tractor or something? They said Woodstock is what your mom calls me. Kind of a genius. You, you're gonna get yourself expelled, Gumbo. Okay, there goes my uh. There goes Doki Doki for tonight. So. A really big thank you. So Abdicate uh, gifted 10 thumbs. So, you know, a lot of thumbs up for him. And also, uh, thank you to Sayori for following. Sayori's 328 for, uh, to be specific. Funny story, a teacher died, she had a heart attack. That's hilarious, man. That's great. <laughs> okay, yeah, the moment of silence. What, did someone fart during the moment of silence? This fucking idiot, she goes... Oh my god. What's happening? <laughs> well, it's all quiet. What, is there something that, like noodles? <laughs> it's like, oh my god. What's happening? <laughs> Did extend the moment to silence. Was she like not paying attention? Wait, what's second? I see the. Yeah. Okay. There we go. I'm sure, you could hear my Windows uh, notification right there. Just taking a quick screenshot of something. Oh my god, I have to realize that everything was silent and then having the gall to go, what's happening? Like, did she. But, like, I don't get, like, how. She didn't know. Clearly not. Or I don't know. Maybe she was just trying to be funny or something. Who knows? Out of earbuds? Yeah. I guess so. But like, I don't like get why when everyone's quiet, you you would even, you know, do that. If anything, maybe like nudge somebody. Be like, hey, like, what's going on? Like next to you. <sighs> Has my bitrate been really bad? Because I'm looking at my stream manager and it's been like red the entire time. Like literally the entire time we've been here. Anyway, I might be more convinced to also buy the Elden Ring DLC Collector's Edition. It is $250, but I got 10 tier 1 subs today. So maybe I can use the other subs I've gotten in the past. The Probably gonna have to use some of my own money to buy the Elden Ring DLC Collector's Edition. I don't know. I'm still. I don't know. I kind of want to do it. Should have a jam session stream and then make it an album to call it Kalebo. Kalebo rolls right off the tongue. Columbo. <laughs> that way for dichotomy to get spotted. Oh yeah. Wait, let me see what the progress on that is. Uploaded to Bandcamp? Oh, I probably should. 
actually. Let's see. Let's see. Is the same one? It's gonna go up. Uh, I can share this on Pinterest. I can share this on LinkedIn. Hey guys, go post on go post about dichotomy on LinkedIn. All right. Yeah, the stream's ending. I probably yeah, but yeah, I should probably also upload it to Bandcamp. I forgot about that. I'm also planning to do it on make a soundtrack probably. I mean, not a soundtrack, make a SoundCloud or whatever it's called. See if I can get any more exposure for stuff through that. It's not like Dichotomy's like a you know gonna go to the top of the charts and anything or anything, but like yeah, just get it more out there. Okay. I thought Dichotomy should be heard from everyone. Yeah, we should do that. Uh, they did in that one SpongeBob episode where they like took Patrick's thing and like went to the radio tower and then made it so the entire city had to hear it. I think if you made an album of all of similar songs, make a rock opera. I've been thinking about making an album. I've been thinking of doing an extended play album. So it's like not that many songs to start with. You know. Uh, I don't know if I'll make an art rock opera. I, I probably I probably would. Is what we cool kids call it. I'm not gonna just like go think about making an EP. Uh, you know, for the people, some people won't know what that stands for. You know, I like to be inclusive. You, you ever hear about that being inclusive? You're thinking about peeing. I'm thinking about peeing right now too. You know, let's go. Let's go pee. Everyone, quick pee break. We'll be back next week. Inclusive is the title of the next song. This is the beauty of inclusivity. Yeah. What if I just made every single song have the same notes and like pattern as dichotomy? The chorus needs some work. Yeah, it does. Right. Oh wait, no, actually the next song, you already know what the next song is going to be after Dichotomy. A little, uh, Hear the gumbo. This is the beauty of come, come, come. Oh yeah, of course. Just replace every single word with come almost. I mean, I, I guess I could do that for gumbo lips, just make it combo lips. Oh god, that sounds... Custom. This is the gab from the lips of combo. I mean to do ad libs, just saying come in the background. All right, yeah. All of a sudden, the song is just about you talking about come, but of course, it's just about you talking a lot. This is the beauty of dichotomy. Dichotomy, <laughs> like you're just like saying it like really serious. It's like. This is the beauty of dichotomy. And then you're like, dichotomy. Dichotomy. You ever, like, you're about, like, thinking, like, there's guys who's going, lobotomy, lobotomy, lobotomy. This is you. What if I just, like, make an album? I make it an art rock opera, like you said. And then I just have one song where I'm, like, it's, like, hip-hop. That'd be kind of funny. I feel like. Anyways, I actually do need to pee, so I'm going to end now. I'm going to go pee. Have you think about the Joe Biden video? Joe Biden got a lobotomy? Oh, Joe. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember you're talking about the Joe Biden. Yeah, never mind, I know what you're talking about. But yeah, good night. God save the queen. And I'll see you all probably next week, within seven days, probably. Farewell. Thank you.